Coming up, a look at your local radar. But first, the current local conditions. Your local 36-hour forecast from the National Weather Service. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Channel. Rich Johnson here in the Weather Channel Forecast Center. We're following a major weather story. A tremendous area low pressure could be the strongest one of this century or certainly the top storms this century. A tremendous storm here. Damage from tornadoes in Florida. Heavy snow through the Appalachians. One location that picked up plenty of snow was Atlanta, Georgia. South side of town only three to four inches of snow. But seems from the Weather Channel here on the north side of town, snowfall anywhere from six to nine inches deep with drifts of two feet deep, heavy blowing drift of snow and winds gusting to 50 miles per hour. A little bit farther to the north around Chattanooga, Tennessee, hit even harder than Atlanta. Chattanooga, a foot and a half of snow, officially 18 inches, still snowing. Snow is beginning to taper off. This was the biggest snowstorm in 24 hours for the city of Chattanooga. Farther to the north, Seabright, New Jersey, heavy waves crashing on shore, offshore seas upwards of 10 to 20 feet, high winds buffeting the coast, hurricane force winds at times, and snow driven uh, winds with uh, winds gusting hurricane force again, all the way over to Bayville, which is just a little bit to the north of LaGuardia Airport up on Long Island Sound, strong winds. Also with heavy snow now changing over to heavy sleet with blizzard warnings in effect around the New York City metropolitan area. So not only have we found plenty of uh, locations of snow, but on the other side of the coin, severe weather too. This is on the Gold Coast of Florida, the southeast coast of Florida, West Palm Beach. Last night, a line of severe thunderstorms caused tree damage and some tornadoes. No more tornadoes for the state of Florida, the cold front, now well offshore. A little bit to uh, focus on here is the snow and the rain. High seas off the coast of North Carolina all the way up through the New England coastline. Again, seas 10 to 20 feet and serious blowing and drifting of the snow. Asheville, North Carolina, about a foot of snow. And believe it or not, Mount Mitchell, North Carolina, western portion of the state, reporting drifts upwards of five feet. Here's a satellite photograph showing this tremendous storm. Off the coast of Louisiana last night, winds gusting to 100 miles per hour. The storm now over North Carolina, racing to the north. The latest uh, radar of the southeast showing snow still coming down. Areas of North Georgia beginning to taper off in Alabama, snowing still heavily in North Carolina. West Virginia has been really lambasted by this storm. Heavy snow, reports common, 8 to 16 inches of snow. Farther north, the radar shaping up like this. Changing over to sleet around New York City, Philadelphia, rainy at Baltimore, northern suburbs of Baltimore, combination of sleet and a little bit of freezing rain. Heavy snow in south central Pennsylvania, though. Heavy snow from Pennsylvania through the spine of the Appalachians down to northern Alabama. The heaviest snowstorm also for Birmingham, Alabama, officially 13 inches in 24 hours. This is what we can expect across the or for the next 24 hours until 7 a.m. Sunday. Heavy snow 24 hours a day. Thanks for tuning into the Weather Channel. I'm Mike Bono, soon to be joined by Will Annan. We're checking the aftermath of the great blizzard of March 1993. The same dates that the blizzard of 1888 hit a lot of the northeastern United States. Well, this one hit all the way down toward the south. Record low barometric pressure readings, all-time lows on the barometer. To give you an idea of how historic this storm is, Tallahassee, Florida to Columbia, South Carolina, that beat out the pressure they got in Hurricane Hugo, right on up toward places like uh, Scranton, PA, and Newark, New Jersey. And just take a look at a few of them. Philadelphia, 28.43.
As you could see, as this storm got further north, the pressures, record pressures, got lower and lower, and they usually do happen that way, and they usually don't get, uh, well, of course, they never got that low in Augusta, but uh, lows usually crank and uh, get down to very low barometer ratings, a lot more in the Great Lakes in the northeast United States, and even back toward the west than they do in the south. 24-hour record snowfalls out of this one from Birmingham, Alabama to Asheville in North Carolina. They also uh, had a record high wind gust, 64 miles an hour. From Pittsburgh to Scranton, record high 24-hour snowfall amounts. And this morning, these were all record lows from International Falls again, all the way down toward uh, Miami and West Palm Beach in Florida. Lots and lots of dots. We'll just show you a few of the highlights. Jackson, Michigan with one degree above zero. Uh, even Huntsville in the south with a lot of snow on the ground, 12 degrees. Columbus, Ohio, eight. Chicago, I believe, was seven. Asheville with all their snow, 15. Mobile, which got two inches of snow on the Gulf Coast, 21 this morning. Even Daytona Beach was 31 degrees for the spring breakers. Hope the breakers were wearing their windbreakers and a sweater under it. That is cold. Now still 53 in Miami and 22 in New York. They went up well into the 30s, then shot back down when that low swept the cold air in. 13 snowbound in Pittsburgh and 26 snowbound in Atlanta. I think the latest there is about 30, but still below freezing. It's not going to melt too fast in the south. Some cold here, then abruptly 42 in Billings. Milder west of the Rockies, the cold air is staying east of the mountains and on downward toward uh, San Diego, 62 degrees. But 26 in Atlanta, look at that. That white that you saw was a whiteout condition yesterday. Snowfall in the Atlanta metro area ranged from about two or three inches south side of town, upwards uh, close to a foot on the north side of the metro area, and up to 16, 18 inches even more in the North Georgia mountains. It stayed in the 20s all day yesterday, it gusted up to 60 miles an hour at Hartsfield Airport. What a storm, they haven't seen the likes of that in many a year. Now it feels like one in Atlanta, 23 below in Pittsburgh, lots and lots of wind chill temperatures to the north. And snowfall amounts, Syracuse now up to 36 inches, Albany, New York, 27, State College, PA, and Portland, Maine, both over two feet. This is a monster storm, and it's so widespread, it's just the, the likes of which we haven't seen in such a large area from south to north in many a year. Only 11 so far at LaGuardia Airport, they could pick up another inch 